Today, we're looking at a really weird enchanting build that can potentially massively improve your drops and the amount of gold you make when you are farming for rousing elementals, which everyone should be doing at the start of the expansion because these are going to be worth a lot of gold. Rousing elementals are the new elemental crafting region in Dragonfly, like essences in Classic and primals in the Burning Crusade. We are looking at a primal extraction enchanting profession build. You're going to put 10 points into Inside the Blue, and then all your points are going to go into Primal Extraction until you have it maxed out at 40 points. We are not going after any particular ability in this subspecialization, although we will cover them all in a bit. We are mostly after the passive, which states, learn to extract the elements within Primal Elementals, further studying their magic and acquiring additional regions, gain plus 1% chance to acquire additional Rousing Elementals per point in this specialization. A big disclaimer here, the wording on this is weird. Now, you can see here that I've gone out and spent the time and the knowledge points so I could actually test on this build. I'm not just reading this out of the UI. Even though I've done the testing on this and I'm pretty sure I know how it works, I cannot guarantee this as one person testing something is not the same as when it gets released and we have a lot more information as a lot more people get to test it on live. That being said, once I got this spec leveled up, I definitely felt that I got much bigger drops from Rousing Elementals. Not only did I seem to get much bigger drops of Rousing Elementals, but I also seemed to get more frequent drops as well. In addition to the extra drops of Rousing Elementals, we also get the ability to destroy Awakened Elementals to get a 10 minute combat buff, which is solid, but not game breaking. When you have 40 points in Primal Extraction, this buff also gives you plus 25 enchanting skill whenever you are crafting something that uses the Rousing Elemental that you destroyed to get the buff. This seems like a really weird place to put a buff that increases your enchanting skill as it's hidden behind loads of stuff that doesn't give you any bonuses to your enchanting at all. There is however some niche stuff that you can do here. You can also unlock a pet that you can craft, although it will be insanely expensive to craft it at the start of Dragonfly. Like I said, these are all bonuses. The reason we're actually doing all this is for the increased drop rate on Rousing Elementals. Now, we set a 1% chance to acquire additional Rousing Elementals per point in this, so 40 points equals 40% chance. This does not, however, mean you get 40% more Rousing Elementals drops because it does not tell you how much more it gives you when it does proc. What I can tell you from my experience of spending some time farming with this maxed out, then dropping enchanting and farming without it, to me it felt like over a 100% increase in the drops of Rousing Elementals. Maybe RNG went a bit crazy as it was only me farming, but when I was farming without it, I mostly got drops between 1 and 3 Rousing Elementals. In this video you see me get a couple of drops of 9 Rousing Fire, which I don't think I'd seen before this when just farming normal Elementals. I also tried this out with mining as you pick up quite a few Rousing Elementals from that too. I came to the conclusion that the Rousing Elementals that you get from mining are not directly buffed. That being said, if you use the Elemental Overload ability on certain nodes, then it spawns an Elemental that you can kill, and this definitely seemed like its buffs got dropped. As well as using this as a huge passive buff to your farming, you could also pair it with an Elemental Overload mining build that specialises around spawning as many of these special Elementals as possible. There's just so many of these crazy crossovers between professions and specialisation that really make Dragonflight look absolutely amazing for professions. All that being said, the main thing we are using this build for is a passive increase to the amount of drops you get when farming for rousing elementals. All that other stuff with mining is just a bonus. To set yourself up to unlock this and to massively increase drops while farming, you need to level up your enchanting skill to at least 25 to unlock specialisations. Ideally, you want to get it a bit higher than this because you want to hit as many first time crafting bonuses as possible to give you more knowledge points to spend to increase your drops more. You will also need to do profession quests that pop up in Valdraken until you get to your 40 points in Primal Extraction. To unlock all of this, I have linked my enchanting leveling guide on the screen which will show you the best way to level up whilst getting as much knowledge as possible to give you the best possible head start with this build. If this video helps, feel free to like and comment on what you will be using this build to farm. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.